why don't we do that? It's always fun to start here. gentlemen this is a recap of composing in full media part 57 challenge and boy did we challenge ourselves today in today's episode we set out to do worked on two things we wanted to update our echoes and overlays and refine the baseline and update the score and the animation so you've just seen the animation there the bottom left which is here is now a new baseline. Uh, the MP3 is driving the white lines around this square, and then the MIDI baseline is driving the little white, that white thing, that white star that jumps up and down. So we did that. And the score for it looks like this. Um, we added. We started with the bass line we had in our last stream, and then we, instead of going like G, B flat, G, B flat, we put the G's in a solid tone and the B flat's in a solid tone. And felt that that sounded a lot better. We, we did let the uh, measure at a time variation continue at the interlude of part seven, which is up here. Dun, 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 dun. So that fast movement catches your attention and helps highlight the the mid resolution in there. There was also a place where we had four notes in a row over eight bars, and so we did um, we just did first note twice as long, second twice as long, third twice as long, fourth twice as long, and so forth. We then took the time and trouble to go ahead and update our energy chart to match the changes we had made. And this is what it looks like now. It still has five parts. This is what we call the baseline multiplier. If we take it out, as we love to do, this is what the chart looked like in our last stream. And by adding a varying um, baseline, we get quite a lot more interesting variation, and we still have a clearly identifiable five parts. So we did that. The other thing we did is we went back to work with our leashes in Shadow Full. And we have a lot of overlay rhythms that we created today to work with and work forward with. I'll show you some of them. So. These are six lines, and this is one of the most interesting. We're soloing the first, second, and last line, which is the cadence, the the uh, the backbone, and what we're calling the scale syncopation. And it sounds like this. And um, it's not that much more energetic than the plain thing we, we started with, which was this. So then we said, well, what if we add, stop playing the canes and add a triplet? And that was okay, but a little slow. So then we thought, well, what about if we added a, you know, a fast, mm, we had to look up the word. So that's a non uplet apparently. It's a nine, it's like three, three mini triplets in there. Uh, and then, and then, just for grins, we put four time in there. Uh, 
which is this this line here. And then if you really want to have fun, just let everything rip. So we gave ourselves a lot of options to work with. We were hoping to develop the piece, which means make it longer than 53 seconds. And we were hoping to deepen the piece, which means making it have more interest and variation. I think we put that in here somewhere. What did we say? We said uh, somewhere. Development usually means making things longer and um, depth usually means taking something, mixing familiar and surprising and extending them. And, and boy, have we been extending. So we're deep in it, guys. We're deep in it. So that concludes today's stream. Today, uh, ideas for next time. Are, well, work more with the leashes in Shadow Full. Uh, in particular, we notice a lot of our melodies are all rising. The whole piece is rising, which we think is an artifact of the sort order that we used when we took the 20 cadences. So we can vary that. And then we should probably start making a, a line energy diagram chart for this thing and, and to help us get more ideas and to tune it. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Tune in next time to see where this exotic piece that's familiar and surprising goes. Take care and keep on streaming. <laughs>